Okay, I think I've come up with a way to sort of put this, a faster way to put this into a dashboard that'll come out pretty quickly and come out, work out pretty well. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do this. So the idea I took is from, is from this particular video. And what she does is she sort of builds these templates and then just drops things in them. So I thought that would be actually pretty clever. Okay, so if I go ahead and, um, so if I go ahead and put here or here, You'll notice if I put these, if I sort of line my boxes, my containers up first, now these are containers and not blanks, then I can just drop the items that I want in them and things will already perfectly sort of line up. So it, I think it's pretty clever. So if I go here, I'm gonna create, I'm gonna delete this one because I already had it. Okay, so if I go here and create a new dashboard, so the first thing I'm gonna end up doing is setting this to a fixed width and she ends up doing or they end up doing uh, a fixed size and they end up doing 1300 wide by a thousand tall. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and say 1300 by a thousand. So I'm not quite sure what that's going to end up meaning for what we build, but typically the first thing I do is I'm just going to set a, I'm going to set a blank thing right behind this, a blank container all the way behind this. That is 1300 by a thousand. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop this here. I'm going to set it up at zero, zero, and I'm going to make it 1300 by a thousand. Okay. I'm going to drop for right now. I'm going to put a um, gray border or a gray um, color in it and a out. I'm just going to put some, so that I've got some background contrast here for a, a color. Obviously it doesn't matter which one you use. Okay. So now what I want to do is we're going to have, uh, I'm going to put a, um, I don't think it's going to matter, but I'm going to try a horizontal container up top here, but you've got to put it here as floating. So I'm going to go ahead and stick one right up top here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put it up at zero, zero. Okay. I'm going to make it a thousand or 1300 pixels wide and 50 high. And this is going to end up holding our, um, this is going to end up holding our text box. Then below that, I'm going to put the blank for the line. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in our um, KPIs down here and then the line charts right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one also with a border and I'm going to fill this one with white just so that I've got it. Okay. So now down here, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a blank here at right below. So this is at 50. I'm going to put a blank up here at 51. This is also floating. I can make it mostly the, the right width. So I'm going to go ahead and pin this to the left at zero. I'm going to set it at 51. So it's right below it. We're going to go ahead and make this 1300 wide and 1300 wide and 10. I'm going to make it 12 tall. And we're going to go ahead and put that yellow. I've already got it because I've used it, but if you just put in more colors, you can put in the color for the yellow. Okay. And then I'm going to add four, four units of padding all on the outer padding. Okay. And that's, I'm going to leave this as all sides equal. And then we're going to go four sets of padding. That's going to be our, that's going to be our yellow line. It's a little bit hard to see with that dark contrast, okay? Now, the cool thing is I'm gonna go ahead and put these in as um, horizontal boxes. I don't know that it matters, but I'm gonna just drop it right here and I'm gonna make it 200 wide for right now. And then, so if I've got 200 and if I make this, so I've got a thousand units going down, so I think I can make them 200 high. How many am I gonna end up having? and I'm gonna set them at the X at 15. Okay, so I'll bet you 250, 700. So I'll bet you I can make these 250 wide. Okay, now here's the cool thing. I can copy these, right? So I can copy the dashboard item and then Control V or Command V to paste them. And I'm just gonna drag it down. So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one, I'm gonna make the background white. So I'm gonna delete this. Um, what if I put no background? Okay, so I'm going to put none, but I'm going to put a border around it, just kind of a, a, a border right here. Okay, and now if I copy it, Control V, right, I can line this up. 
So I'm going to put this here at 15. Um, I think I can just do Control C, Control C, Control V. So Command C, Command V, and then Control V again. All right. So I have got down here, I've got my four boxes. And again, so I wish this allowed you to line things up, do like a line left on um, like PowerPoint does, but it doesn't. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and put here's 15. Okay. Now I'm going to do again, control C, control V, and I'm going to line it up right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of space. And if I make it, so how wide is that? If I make this a thousand wide, yeah, because I've got 250. So that gives me 50 pixels to work with. That allows me to do, we'll have to see if we want to make this a little bit wider. Um, and now I can control, oops, I'm going to um, copy this, control C, control V. Okay. So this one's got to line up left with this, or sorry, with the Y axis here. So this one's at, I want it at 296. Okay. And then the left axis I want to be, so this is at 283. So I'm going to end up making these, oh, let's see. So this one, I'll just line it up at 283 for right now. I was just thinking if we wanted to end up putting, whoops, a line. So this one is at, oh, so 296, 296. His x-axis is at 283. All right, so I just need to put it here at 283. Okay, so now I'm just going to do the same thing, right? And I'm going to just be lining each of these up. So I, this is on the, the distance on the, the y, so that's at 508. 508 okay and then again 283 so i can just actually click down to 283 and then the last one and so now the beauty of it is this is at 720 720 283 okay wonderful so we'll end up getting rid of those borders oh and then that also allows us to put in all right so let's do this i'm going to drag um, before i put these guys in I'm going to put the little bar here, these little colors. So she has them so that you add some padding so they poke out. I'm actually going to put them here as an object. So this object is going to be, um, I've got it here with, with uh, it's 12 pixels wide. Uh, and we'll have to figure out, like that one's 186. We'll have to adjust it. But then we just do our four colors. And that's the beauty of it. I can copy and paste that in. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a um, blank. So I'm going to probably end up renaming these as well so that we have, so like this one right here. So let's do that. We're going to go ahead. Well, I don't even know that I need to name them yet because uh, I've got this line and then I've got this guy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go right here. Let's insert a blank that is, this guy just needs to be 12 pixels wide. And this guy is, um, Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add the color to it with the padding. So this one's going to end up, the top one has the purple. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and add four units of padding all the way around. Okay. And then now that I can see it, this guy is 200 high. Okay. So I just need to go ahead and make this one 200 high. And then I can kind of drag it here. And then I'm going to end up sticking this right at zero or one probably and then um so this one's at 86 so i'm going to put it at 86 so it's the outer part is lined up okay and i've got this guy right there okay and now the beauty of it is i can just copy him i just select on that line control z control v oops so i'm going to go ahead and select it copy this selected item Okay, and now I can just drag this one down, right? I'm gonna make it, this one is the light blue. I'm gonna pin him at one, and then that one is at 296, and that one is at 296. Good. So same thing. Okay, so that one needs to be at 508, and that is the green line. Okay, and then I'll copy this, control V. So I found this to bring me a lot less frustration 
in trying to get everything kind of lined up and to work the way that I wanted to. So this one, that one's at 723, this is at 720. Okay, so he needs to be at 720. Okay, and that color is this dark blue right there. Okay, boom. So now um, I can call this one, um, I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call that. So if I have these as, I'll call this one the yellow line and then I've got these four lines down here. But now what I can do is, so I've got KPI total, so I can just, it's shift and drag. So I'm just gonna shift and he's right there. I'm gonna make it fit entire view. Okay, so then, um, and then this is the line for total. Boom, shift here. Okay, I've got my bounce rate, line bounce. Okay, and then down here I've got time on page, time on page. Okay, so now I just need to put in um, some formatting. And so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna go back to the outer container. Okay, so I'm gonna rename this one. I'm gonna call this outer container. Okay. And I'm gonna end up making that now have none okay perfect i'm going to go right here and put in my text box so i'm going to drag it right there and this is going to say hashtag workout wednesday website analytics okay and i'll make this uh probably a 24 pole, pole point bold and then we'll go ahead and make that that all that the that darkest one right there okay Good. All right. So now all I need to do, okay. So now all I need to do is get rid of some of these titles. So format these boxes and then format over here. And then also let me go ahead and name each of these. So this is, I'm going to call these four KPI one, two, three, four from top to bottom. And this one to be line, um, line chart one, two, three, four. So, so let's just go ahead and I'll click this outer one. Okay, so this one, I'm just gonna hide the title, okay, and make that fit to entire view. Um, as long as this, now you gotta make sure that the inner one, okay, so now I've got KPI duration. I need to make this one entire view. Okay, so now I'm gonna hide the title. Okay, entire view, hide the title. Okay, so I may end up making these fonts a little bit bigger. Okay. Hide title, entire view. Okay, boom. Now, what we wanna do on this is, on these, I still wanna keep this, um, like the numbers here on the axis. Um, I think we're gonna hide the title on each of these. So let me just go ahead and hide title. Hide title, hide title, hide title. Okay, and then we need to make, so I think if I go, the, so the shortcut here is if I click here, that takes me back to that individual worksheet. And so I've, on these, I've formatted this as, let me just go ahead and right click and format. All right, so this is Tableau regular 10 point. Okay, and that is Tableau regular 10 point as well. So on this one, I could go, um, I'm gonna do it on each of these. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna format and do Tableau regular 10. Okay, right click, format, Tableau regular 10. Duration. Okay. And then, Okay, now I think what this ends up doing, um, okay, and then on the, each of these, we need to get rid of this thing that says average session duration and then the week of date. So we're gonna go cycle through each one and it's easier to do this in the, uh, no, let's just try here. If I edit the axis here and get rid of week of date. Okay.
Okay, and then this one must not be. All right, so let's go ahead and make that 10 point. Okay, and then what I need to do is here. All right, so I'm going to make that 10 point. Oops, edit access. Edit access. Nope, it's already gone. Okay, so so this is now starting to look a lot like her dashboard. Well, let's see what we can do. I might make this a little bit bigger. So I might go here to total sessions. So what if I make this bold? Okay, so I can imagine making these numbers a little bit bigger as well. But now I've got this line, the everyday workout Wednesday, this overall page time. I can kind of see how it's gone and hover over each of these and kind of see what they're at. These are all lined up. And then if I want to, I can leave the, um, so in this one, uh, so if I now go to in this one, I could get rid of all the borders. All right. So now I can just say none, none, and essentially I'm just I'm gonna I'm probably gonna pause and skip this part. But essentially all I'm doing is going through each of these and getting rid of this so that it's none. Okay, so I could imagine now if I wanted to, so we could stick a line between there, but we should be good. And then instead of that one, I'll put like that gray. And I'm gonna make this, um, so instead of being 12, let's make it 10. Okay, and I might make that even lighter. Okay, so now I've got kind of this little line between it and now I could just copy and paste it and stick it down in between each of these so that I've got a little bit of a divider between them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for each of these and then we'll go ahead and finish up.